All right, time to take a look at the Orico docking station with M.2 SSD enclosure. Well, that's cool. That's actually got its own case. Neat. All kinds of patches and everything. So if you have some SD cards and some USB drives and that kind of thing, you've got spots for all that. There is the dock, and I do like this texture pattern they got on the top. We got a spot for Ethernet, so we can do wired internet. We got HDMI, USB 3.0, PCN, so this is gonna be where we attach to our computer. 100 watt power delivery, so if you want to, you can use that one cord, which is this guy right here. It's a USB-C to USB-C. Plug that guy in there, plug this into our computer, and then we can plug our computer power supply into here. So that way we only have to plug in this one plug into our laptop, and we're gonna have power as well as all the other ports. We got SD, we got micro SD, two more USB 3.0 ports, and a USB-C port. But the really cool thing about this is that this has a magnetic cover, and then inside here we got a heat sink, and this is where we can stick an M.2 drive. So if you wanna back up your pictures, or just have a place where you can offload a bunch of data, you can use this. Very nice having that. So they were not slacking on this heatsink. It actually has a copper pipe going down the center. That is a very nice heatsink. We do have a thermal pad and we have quick connectors so we don't even have to have a screwdriver to attach that M.2. So it actually comes with three thermal pads, which is kind of nice. And we can see they got two of the small gray ones and one of the large thick white ones. So that is going to help accommodate different thicknesses of M.2 drives. I am going to use the white one. So you can see on this connector, we got this flat part on top and on the bottom. So that is going to line up with that slot in that hole. I got pretty big fingers, so I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers to lock that down. There we go. And then we can put the cover back on. Okay, so I picked it up. I've already got that extra drive right here. And if I plug in my extra monitor, Yep, pick that up right away. So you can see I got my mouse cursor right around here. And if I whip it over here, now I got my mouse cursor over there. So everything seems to be plug and play. I'm gonna do a quick test on that SSD to see how it performs in this. Okay, so we actually got some very good numbers. So it actually wrote faster than a read. So for best case scenario, sequential one megabyte, eight process, one thread, we got 911 megabytes per second read, 924 write. Worst case scenario, 4K, one process, one thread, 21 megabytes per second read, and 40 megabytes per second write. So those are very good speeds. And I just wanna check the SD card to see how well that performs. Okay, and again, I picked it up right away. And let's check the speeds on that. On the read, we got 87.91. On the write, we got 75.36. On the worst case scenario, random 4K, one process, one thread, 4.85 on the read, and 1.5 on the write. So the biggest thing I could say about this is I just love the way that it's all laid out. I love that I got one cable that I can use to supply power to this laptop, as well as the data for everything else. We got the HDMI, we got the power, we got all the basic stuff that we're not going to be accessing on the back, and then all the stuff that we are going to be accessing all the time on the front. So this has got everything you need for that convenience of having a dock, plus that M.2 drive on the inside that you can easily swap out if you ever decide you want to change it. This is a great dock.